it's it's always interesting, man. When I um, I always get a kick when I first of getting prepared when I'm like behind the scenes because mm -hmm. to me that's kind of like where where the magic really happens, you know? Right. So I'm I'm pretty cool. How was your how, how was your day out there in Colorado, my man? I mean, I had a I had a busy work day because my first thing this morning was being up at six thirty for the uh, for the morning show. Uh huh. And then you know right after that was done, an hour later. It was like there was no break. It was like boom, right into the call. So I'm like, wow, this, this is going to be a long day. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. But that's been the last uh, the last two days, you know. So, just cramming things in, getting prepared for a trip on Friday. So mm -hmm. can't complain. Yeah. Does it now? Does it that, does it always start that way for you in the morning? Are you, no. are you always on calls, or do you do you, do you get time to spend time, um, kind of getting yourself together, or do you just jump right into it? No, I, I usually give myself time to get things prepared and get clear on what's the objective for the day and things of that nature. It's uh -huh. just, you know, because I'm going away on, on Friday, I'm going to be gone for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. What I usually do is I cram in everything within like a three or four day period. And then when I go away, I don't do work. I don't work that often. I'll do maybe like one or two hours a day. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, you know, if you, you, if you normally have, let's say, three calls a day, mm -hmm. why do that for four days when you could just do six and six and just get it out the way? Ah, it makes, that, that, makes, that makes a lot of sense. You know, I've, I've tried to do it all, man. I've tried to um, do plan at night. I tried to plan in the morning. I tried to plan during the day. What yep. I've learned in my limited time is you got to just do it. That's the first yep. part. The first part is don't sit around and wonder how I should do it. The best thing to do is just go ahead and do it right away. Because if you don't, you'll find yourself saying, I got to do it, I got to do it. And you may never do it. Exactly. Exactly. Not to mention, uh -huh. um, you know, I'm, I'm in, in Colorado. So it's like I'm able to start things earlier than most people. Mm -hmm. You know, when I used to live on the East Coast, my, my first call would start at 9 o'clock in the morning, which is most people. Uh -huh. But now that I live over here, I could, I could take calls at 7, 8 o'clock. And I could be done with my calls by noon right? and then have the rest of the day to do my, my normal stuff. So that's why I usually like to plan everything in the morning, get all the conversations out the way, and then I can focus on myself the rest of the day. Ah, focus on yourself. That's very important. You know, one of the things that I like about you, when you talked about using Facebook, and I know we're going to get into that. We're going to get started in a moment, by the way. I'll make sure when they get on, they can hear us. But mm -hmm. one of the things that I like that you really talked about that I thought was super important is that you really can build your business. You really can reach your audience and you really can talk to a different group of folks if you just follow the system, man. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And there's some people out there that kind of wonder, is that possible? Can that really happen? And the answer is what it can. Would you, would, would you, would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, they definitely can. Um, you know, it's really just, you got to find a system that works for you. You know, what time of the day are you most effective? Who do you want to be talking to most that can help you achieve your dreams or your goals? You know, it's like you got to craft the plan that's going to work for you long term. You're not going to know until you talk to a variety of people, try out different things, find the one that you like and don't like. Like it's, it's just going to take some time. Yeah. But, you know, I know how many calls I could take in a day before I break. I know how many campaigns I can do before things get a little too foggy in my brain to keep going. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I make sure that if I want to get maximum output – like if I want to complete all my campaigns in a day, um, I have to start really early. I got to start at least at seven o'clock in the morning, and I can't be interrupted until two or three o'clock in the day. Right, because you, cause you have to focus on the task at hand. You got to yep, focus. What's but going I will on. get everything done. I will get it all done in that window, which comes out to about eight hours. What? Well, mm -hmm. if you want to know what I'm doing, by the way, I'm just testing it just to make sure we're live. I'm gonna I'm check over here in a moment. I was on there just a second ago. Checking to make sure we're live. Let me let me go over here. Mic check, mic check. For those folks that are out there that are just tuning in, do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and let you know we can hear us. Sherman Graham, I see you out there. Thanks a lot for joining. I certainly appreciate it. We've got a rock star today. We've got a lineup today. If you're out there as you're listening, by the way, do me a favor. Go over and just type Shay We Hear You. Just put Shay We Hear You. And we're going to go ahead and get this thing kicked off. Um, I see you out there joining on. What's up, Carol? What's up, Carolina? It is always a pleasure in the house this evening. Uh, let me go ahead and hit this right here. Make sure 
and then we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to rock out. Let me get this started in five, four, uh, three, two, one. We'll get started in just a second. Let me make sure they can hear us. Now, can you just do a mic check, mic check, so I can make sure that they can hear you over there? Sure. Mic check, mic check. <laughs> Don't just love his mic check? He's like, yeah, mic check, mic check. He doesn't know hey. about mic challenge, right? Check one. He's not saying no. <laughs> no. If it works, it works. You know, you yeah, can hear yeah. it. Well, you know, th there's something to be said about just keeping it simple, too. There's nothing wrong with that at all, by the way. There's nothing wrong with that at all. All right, we're going to yeah. go ahead and get this party started in five, four, Three, two, one. Let's get going. Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or be killed and eaten. Also, every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. You've heard it before. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be what? You better be running. That's right. That's right. You better be running. Life is about meaning. And meaning is about service. Isn't that the reason why we're all here? Isn't that what we're all searching for? 2013, the Peak Performance Institute was created. 5,000 clients who we've helped turn their idea into a reality, their reality into a business, their business into a movement, impacting 5.7 million lives around the world. Imagine that. Hey, my name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Network, the world's largest organization for the well-being of an entrepreneur. And as we always say, our mission at the Happy Entrepreneur Network, our mission is to inspire, empower, and provide resources for the entrepreneur to live a balanced life and execute their vision for the people they were called to serve. And our mantra, you know, I love our belief. Everyone should have a belief statement. Our belief is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. With that being said, let's get started. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country, not because of myself or David, but because of all of you out there who get up every single day to do what you do. And so it is an honor. It is a privilege to serve you. Let me welcome you. Now, for those folks that are just tuning in, let me tell you, we have some conversations that's really all about the results in your life. And, and we mentioned it earlier, but it's important that we mention it again. And one of our beliefs is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. And here's what I want you to know. Here's what I want you to hear me. Tonight, this morning, this evening, this afternoon, whatever time it is for you, wherever you are in the world, this is all about getting results in your life uh -oh, and results in your bank account. But more importantly, it's about how do I get more results in my life? And give me just a moment. We'll make sure we get that taken care of. Like, I can't see you, Shane. Don't worry. Uh oh, don't worry. We'll get you there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, that happens even to the best of us that are out there right now. So let me welcome you aboard this morning or again this evening. We're going to be talking about how to really grow your business, how to reach your target audience how to have more impact in the world, how to have more meaning in the world, and how to do that from the comforts of your home and really through the power of Facebook. Now, I know you heard about social media. I, I know you heard about Facebook. And, and the question always comes up when I'm out there almost on a daily basis is, Shane, how do I crack that code? Like, how do I use social media, not to make money, but to talk to my target audience? to let them know that I'm here to solve a problem. And you know what? The answer's going to be revealed right now 
during our session day. So I'm encouraging you to sit back. I'm encouraging you to relax. Let me go out there and say, hello, Brenda. What's up, Brenda? Thanks for joining. We certainly appreciate it. And all of you who are tuning in right now, I see you, Lauren Brown. Thanks a lot. She says, hey, David, don't worry. We see you out there. Lauren Brown said, Shay, we can hear you. Iris said, hey, Shay and Davis. Dana Peck said, Shay, we can hear you. You know, they, they share this so many places sometimes, David. I can't even check to see where I'm at, by the way. So I'm, I'm getting better at this. <laughs> but he's going to break that thing down today. I'm going to tell you, y'all are in for a treat. Look, here's what I like to do, David. Why don't you say hello to the audience, David? Hey, everyone. Glad to see you tonight. Regardless of where you are, maybe it could be the morning. I'm going to show you some really cool stuff today. Absolutely. And you're coming in from where, David? Where are you broadcasting in from? Colorado. What's up, Colorado in the house? <laughs> now, are you from Colorado? Folks, I know are wondering, are you from Colorado? No, no. I was born and raised in Miami, Florida, and relocated to Colorado about two years ago. Okay, so there's a big climate change. I, I just want to <laughs> mention this just for the record. There's this whole climate change, like Miami, Colorado. Let me get this yeah. right. Miami beaches, Colorado snow. I, I, I'm, I'm just curious. We got to get going. We got a program. But what brought you to Colorado? Like, I mean, most folks want to be in warm weather, and you're going just the opposite direction. I know it gets warm and hot during our summer months, but gee whiz, mm -hmm. it gets a little cold during the winter months. What, what mm -hmm. brought you to Colorado, my friend? Well, you know, to have basically your entire livelihood be one season all year round and then go from that to four seasons a year. The people here are very nice. They want to work with you. They want to support you. Whereas in Florida, it seems like everyone's angry and doesn't want to work with you. Family moved out here, had no more family in Florida. And I'm just tired of hurricanes. Clearly, I don't want to be dealing with those anymore. And I don't have to deal with that in Colorado. So, I mean, there's a variety of other reasons, but I mean, those alone are enough. <laughs> Well, you know, first of all, I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad you decided to leave and be where you are today. Let's say hello to Cheryl Ragland. She's joining. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Leroy McKenzie Jr., what's up in the house? Anthony Judah Betterton Smith, I hope I said that right, is in the house right now. Sylvia, what's going on? You're going to be glad you tuned in. Danielle Steele, thanks for joining, by the way. Seth Calendar, thank you so much for joining, by the way. I promise you this will be a good use of your time i promise you this is a money conversation now david i do this segment um, almost every episode it's one of my favorite segments to do as we get kicked off and then we'll get into making the money don't worry we're going to get into making the money we will get into making the money but david we do this segment where we encourage other entrepreneurs we uplift other small business owners we recognize the speakers the authors the coaches the trainers the network marketers those folks in the personal development and we do it in a way where we can push them forward or we can uplift them and, and we do it because i received something from my mentor called the champion's creed and the champion's creed was given to me 15 years ago so i would say it on a continuous basis i didn't know back then it was gonna be every single day <laughs> on a continuous basis that i would learn from and it would encourage me and it would inspire me so i passed it on to others and i'm gonna read the champion's creed and for those folks that are out there that are listening that are watching the affirmation that i want to share today with all of the other entrepreneurs that are out there right now that are in the fields they got their sleeve rolled up they're in the trenches um they're making a difference for their family they're making a difference for the community that might be you the single mom it might be you the single dad it might be you the person that works all day and then comes home and works all night on your business or your dualpreneur the switch is never off. <laughs> you're either working for your business or you're working for the office. It doesn't matter. I want to recognize you. And here's what we're going to say. I want you to look below the video. What's up, Sherry Johnson? I want you to look below the video. Hey, what's going on, Linda Susan Hooser? Look below the video. Hey, Mimi, thanks for joining. Look below the video, and I want you to write these words. Keep on going. Hashtag no matter what. Now, that's the, that's the slogan. Keep on going no matter what. So look right below the video. Look right below the video and write these words to uplift, to push, to encourage another entrepreneur. Keep on going. Hashtag no matter what. Now, maybe you tried Facebook before and it didn't work out. Keep on going. Maybe you tried social media before. It didn't work. 
keep on going. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're like, I'm ready, Shay. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. I'm so close. If I can just crack this one little code, my whole life shifts. And it's a dream that comes true because I'm walking in my purpose and my passions. If you're on the verge of a breakthrough, pay attention because this is your time. So, David, I'm going to go ahead and show the Champion's Creed, and then I'm going to read it. Then I'm going to ask you if you will read it as well. So let me go ahead and pull that up right now. Don't forget to put down, keep on going, hashtag no matter what. Here it is, the Champion's Creed. I see you, Mimi, Lau. Keep on going, no matter what. The, champ, the Happy Entrepreneur's Champion's Creed. I am not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying, and keep trying, and keep trying. David, it's all about you got to what? Keep on trying here's what i like to do david if i can i like to step back and i like for you to take a moment and i like for you to read those words and mm -hmm. as you're reading those words i want you to when we finish to maybe share a time that you had a setback that you had a challenge that you had to overcome now don't worry they'll go online and they'll read uh what forbes magazine had to say about you okay social media expert they'll read what entrepreneur magazine had to say about you social media expert they'll read about what the other editorials had to say about you and how you really have cracked this code and made it so much easier for small businesses all over the world david they're going to go read about that they're going to know about that but first i want you to read the champion's creed and then share your challenge that you had and for those folks that are listening look right below the video what's up crystal cunningham look right below the video what's going on renanda brooks look right below the video and write these words keep on going no matter what. All right, David, let me, let me go ahead and make sure to get that pulled up for you in just a moment, make, to, just to make sure you can see that. Can you see those words, David? Yes, sir. All right, my man, take it away. Take it away. All right. I am not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying. And keep trying, and keep trying, and keep trying. I always got to say that because sometimes you got to try more than once. You got to try more than twice. You got to try more than three times. You and I were talking about that behind the scenes, by the way, before we got started, about the number yep. of failures that we've had. That would be a show all by itself. David, mm -hmm. tell us about the time that you had a challenge um, and what lesson did you learn that we can take away from? Yeah, so about um, almost six years now. It'll be the anniversary in October. Um, I had my business completely fall apart for the second time and I had to rebuild everything from scratch but not just the business itself I had to rebuild myself mm -hmm. uh, clients left I had no clients left except for one and it was the one that I've had for at that time had them for about seven years already so there was loyalty there but one client did not pay the bills so no clients I was barely making enough to make ends meet. If anything, we were actually losing quite a bit of money. I had a partner in the business. So even when we made $100, I had to split it in two, mm. right? So there wasn't a lot left over. And because of this business falling apart for the second time, felt like a huge failure, couldn't figure things out. You know, seven years in at the time running Facebook ads, and it's like, why does no one trust me enough to give me X amount of dollars in what I feel I'm worth, right? So there was a self-worth disconnection a value disconnection, a variety of things just didn't align with what I really wanted to create. So the business fell apart, completely broke in October of that year, so almost six years ago, and essentially almost got to the point where my relationship fell apart, almost had to claim bankruptcy, almost got evicted, car almost taken away. Everything was basically at zero. And so had to overcome that create a game plan. I basically only had about four to five days to figure things out or else everything would be taken away. And so that was my low point. And it was actually on Halloween of 2013 because I knew, I remember this because I knew I couldn't afford candy to give out to kids. Mm. That's when I remembered like, oh, okay, this is really bad. Like I, I don't even have enough to give someone else joy on the day that's meant for them. When a kid knocks on your door and they say trick or treat, you hand them that candy, they have their moment where they light up and then it's like they go do it again. 
couldn't even do that, couldn't afford doing that. And so I always remember that day as the day where it's like rock bottom was officially hit because that was the same day I, you know, sat on my floor and cried until I had no more tears coming out of my face. <laughs> like it was just couldn't do it anymore. So when I had that breakdown, that was actually when I had my, my breakthrough at the same time. And I stayed up all night, put together a plan, and the next day I executed that plan. And, and what I became, quote unquote, famous for was initiating that plan of doing uh, an ungodly amount of account audits in a three-day period that led to me making $10,000 in three days. And nice. changed the entire business since then. Yep. Wow. What, 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 what kind of audit? I mean, I got to ask the question. What kind of audit were you doing? So – Naturally, Facebook account audits, I was going through people's ads, telling them what they needed to fix, what they could improve upon, what they should turn off. And I did about 77 audits in three days. Mm. And I wasn't trying to do full comprehensive audits. These were like short bursts of, of like five to six things they can do to improve the results right now. So I'd record these, these screencasts to make it easy because I'm like, if I write these things out, it's not going to happen. It's going to take forever. Okay. But if I do screencasts and they can listen to them and they can do the work on the fly, then that means I can also do a lot of audits very quickly. And so I would do five, six-minute account audits. I'd give them everything that I feel they can do along with like a bullet list, and I'd email it to them. And, and the reason I would do all these audits, and they were for free, mm -hmm. was because I told people that in exchange for this audit, I just want one piece of advice that would allow me to change my business and my life. So if you give me one piece of advice, I'll do the audit for you. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that 77 people would take the offer. Mm -hmm. I also didn't know that seven of those people would end up becoming paying clients, paying $1,500 a month. I didn't know that a bunch of people didn't even want the audits and they just wanted to help me. Because all I did was I reached out to my entire friends list at the time, back when Facebook didn't have a message cap. You know, Nowadays, you can only send like 100 messages at most, and then Facebook tells you that you can't do it anymore, mm -hmm. right? So if you send 100 unique messages, they're like, hey, you got to stop. Back then, you could have sent 400. They wouldn't have told you to stop. Mm. So I, I messaged my entire friends list, which at the time was like 750 people. So I just messaged everybody, mm -hmm. and that's how I got my 77 audits. <laughs> Didn't really sleep much. you know. I was just doing this as a way to turn things around, and when you're, when you're at your low point, there's no such thing as sleep. You just keep going until you can't go anymore. Mm -hmm. So I was basically up 20 hours a day for three straight days. I maybe got three, four hours of sleep at the most. you know. And then I would just keep doing my thing until I would have enough to pay those bills, not get evicted, keep the car, all of that. Because I had to do it in such a short period of time. So You start off by doing Facebook audits, giving value. You reached out and said, I've reviewed your ad. Here's yep. my recommendations to you, and I'm yep. giving it to you from the kindness of my heart, and here's a tip or idea that they can use. And it was all about value. It's all about the giver's economy. Let's all give David a hand. We're going to get going. Let's all give David a hand. For those folks that are out there, I see D. Bolden. Thanks for joining. Sherlyn, it's always a pleasure. Crystal Cunningham said, hey, Shay and David, by the way. She gave you a shout out. She said, David. Nicole's in the house says, I truly understand. I didn't know he was going to be that transparent. I had no idea when I asked the question he was going to just pour his heart out like that, but he made it. Venus said, great job. She said, woohoo. You got Kevin Impeccable Peck is on the line. You got Katisha Patisse is here. Nicole is in the house. Someone said, break down to your breakthrough. It was a breakdown to your breakthrough. Someone look right below the video. Look right below the video and write these words to David. Great job, David. Congratulations, David. You you show that you can what? Keep on going no matter what. So let's give David a welcome. Look below the welcome, look below the video, look below the video, and you're gonna write these words of encouragement to David. Hey David, thanks for sharing. I appreciate your message, David. Now he ain't even talked about how you're gonna make money yet. He didn't know he was gonna do all that, by the way. That was not in the program. That's why he's smiling like, hey Shay, um, what's the run sheet? David, the run sheet is I need you to serve. Uh, uh, Shay, what happens? David, I just need you to teach these folks how to use Facebook ads, how to run a dollar a day campaign, how they can reach their target audience there. Because it's my belief that every one of you watching right now, you already have what it takes to be successful. You already have or you wouldn't be on this show right now trying to get to another level. 
So it's a David. You've got to give them the structure. You got to give them a system. You got to show your computer and you got to break down what you did for another client and give them step by step. And I said, will you do that? And David, what did you agree to do? I will show those campaigns. So we're going to show the campaigns in just a moment. Let me give a shout out to Mario says, hey, David, thanks for sharing. Brenda said, congratulations, David. Thanks for sharing, by the way. Joy White is in the house said, great job, David. Thanks a lot for sharing. Lauren Brown, what's up? Lauren Brown is in the house said, great job, David. Congratulations. Kevin Impeccable Peck, who is out of Atlanta, but who knows where he is in the world right now, says, overcomer, by the way. The guy travels all over the place. Like, I literally don't know where he is whenever he's on here. I really don't know. And for all of you out there who are saying congratulations, David, we appreciate that. David, when we come back, we're going to unleash. I mean, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to, I'm going to turn it over. We're going to show them the Facebook ads. We're going to show them what you've done. And I promise you, you want to step in there. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to hit that share button. There's a little share button. And David, you're going to show the campaigns you did for other clients. You're going to show the tips and ideas you help and share with me. And then I'm going to tell you how I'm implementing exactly what David's saying right now for the show. Like in this very moment, we're doing it. And David, do they have your permission to pay this for it? Can they hit the share button? Can they hit the share button? Can they be part of the giver's economy and hit the share button and pay this for it? Of course. I want you to share with as many people as you can. <laughs> David knows how that works. So do me a yep. favor, everyone. Do me a favor. Hit the share button right now. There's a little share button. Hit, hit the share button. And when you hit the share button, I want you to write these words. It's time to serve someone else. Just, just, just hit those words. This is all about service. David didn't ask for a cash app payment. David didn't ask for a wire transfer before we got started. He didn't ask for no credit card. So I want you to hit the share button. Hit the share button. And when you hit that share button, write these words. It's time to serve others. Hashtag serve so big. Hashtag serve so big. I see you, Tanya. She says, thanks for being transparent, David. I've enjoyed listening to you on the Black CEO Morning Show. So she's been there with you right now. He's a real person. He's not just a voice on a conference call. He is a real person. And tonight, we're going to break it down. Do me a favor. For all you out there who are ready to serve so big, and you want to collaborate with other folks who are watching right now, you want to collaborate with the viewers, you want to collaborate with David, do me a favor. Look right below the video, and I want you to do this. This is, this is it. Just look right below the video and write these words. Hashtag serve so big. Like right now, look right below the video, look right below the video and write these words. Hashtag serve so big. And when you see someone write the word hashtag serve so big, hit the like button, hit the heart button, say yes. Those are people you want to collaborate with. Those are folks you want to build your network with. Those are folks that you want to make sure you join new communities with. So look right below the video and write these words. Hashtag serve so big. It is time to face our fears. With that being said, you're here with none other than the Facebook guru, the ads guru himself, David Shalos. Did I get that right? Shalos. Yes, sir. Okay, David Shalos right now. And we're going to break it back and we're going to show his campaign in just a moment. Uh, Joy White, by the way, said hashtag serve so big. Someone hit the heart button. Nicole said it's time to serve others. Hashtag serve so big. Venus said hashtag serve so big. Brenda Vora said hashtag serve so big. Kevin Impeccable Peck, he's up, right? Said hashtag serve so big. Tanya Prickler said hashtag serve so big. All right, David. It's time for you to serve it up, man. For Michael A. Scott, who just joined, it's time for you to break it down. With that being said, when we come back, David's going to unveil the campaign. Let's go over to Dr. Kinnett Thigpen. She talks about facing your fears. And maybe you doing, advert doing ads and Facebook, you're a little fearful of that. You're not too sure. You can do it anyway. We'll be back in just a moment. Take it away, Dr. Kinnett. Hello, it's your girl, Dr. Kenneth Thigpen, also known as Dr. K, founder of Rise Women's Network. And Rise Women's Network is pleased to present to you, hashtag, next sister up. Today, I'm here with you in the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe, and today is my January 1st. Here's your thought of the week. Face your fears. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of dating again? Are you afraid of starting a new business or launching a new product or service? Are you afraid of being wealthy? Remember, exposure to your fear is better than avoidance. So stop avoiding whatever it is for you. Face your fears head on. When you face your fears head on, 
you get a sense of accomplishment. When you face your fears head on, you gain power. And you can look back and say, that wasn't so bad. When you face your fears head on, your anxiety decreases. Because when you're afraid of something, your anxiety is going to increase. When you face your fears head on, you gain skills and mastery. And who wouldn't want to add a new skill to their toolbox? And lastly, when you face your fears head on, you decrease your failures. Now I know in life we often say failure equals feedback, but when people tend to fail, they tend to stop trying. So I'm reminded of this quote by Marianne Williamson. She says, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. So I challenge you this week, face your fears. I'm Dr. K, make it a great day. Dr. K, make it a great day and face your fears. You know, David, I used to have a fear of technology, by the way, and for so many years, I used to tell myself, I'm not a techie. No, I'm not a techie. That's Trevor. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not a techie. You want to talk to someone else. And, and then the day came where I was trying to work on this project. And guess who wasn't around? Guess who wasn't there to serve me? The Trevor Otts. So guess what I had to do, David? Guess what I had to do? I had to become a techie. And I got upset. Yep. Like, man, I, I, gotta, I want to do this thing. And so I went in and I started watching the videos. I tried trying to figure it around. And guess what? The software didn't break. Guess what? Life went on. And ever since that day, I stopped telling myself, I'm not a techie. I'm not a techie. Instead, I changed the conversation, David, and I started telling myself, you know what? Each day, I'm getting better and better technology. Each day, I'm getting better and better at using technology. And you can tell yourself that right now. Maybe you're telling yourself, I'm not a Facebook ad guru. That's okay. I'm not a social media guru. I mean, I get it intellectually. I understand what it does, but I don't understand algorithms. I don't understand the latest and greatest things I need to do. Here's what I want you to tell yourself. Each day, I'm getting better and better. Each day, I'm getting better and better. And in fact, today is your day. So David, with that being said, let me ask two questions, then we're gonna turn it over to you to, to show the campaigns. Um, what's the biggest challenge that you see that entrepreneurs, small business owners, speakers, authors, coaches, trainers, or even infopreneurs, what's the biggest challenge they have with really utilizing Facebook ads? We're being very specific, not saying how to get on Facebook, but using Facebook ads to reach their target audience to share with them how they solve the problem. What's the biggest challenge you're seeing out there? Their biggest challenge is the fear of loss. loss so it's not, even, it's not even running ads. It, it's it's the emotion behind the possibility of losing money. And what most people don't realize is when you run your first ad, there's a very high probability you're going to lose the money. And for most people, they believe that money is scarce. They don't believe that they can easily replace that money that they've earned. And most of that stems from you know, your nine to five corporate workplace. You know, you make your money from the work you've done and you use that money for whatever you want. And then the people who come from that world over to entrepreneurship, the moment you ask them, can you spend $5 a day? And they easily say, well, I don't want to lose my money. That's when you realize they're not ready to run ads yet because there's an emotional backing to running your ads. You have to actually lose your emotion when you're running ads. You have to be okay with losing out. And when you finally break through that moment of going, I can lose this $100, it's okay. I can lose this $1,000, it's okay. That's when you're ready to run ads because you're no longer attached to that dollar sign because you know you'll make it back. That's actually the biggest thing is just breaking through the fear of loss. Mm -hmm. And that, that's one of the things that your business helps them overcome the fear of loss because you kind of show what's on the other side as well because there is an upside there's a downside and then there's whatever you would call the right side. Is that correct? Yeah. I mean the, the whole point of hiring an agency mm -hmm. is to, to remove the emotional attachment you have to your money. And here's why I say that. Agencies, there are typically ones that are – I'll just call them the good and the bad. The good agencies understand the intent and the purpose of the money and what it's going to do for that business. The bad agencies are just trying to spend your money – so they can get a piece of the cut, right? They get a piece of the action. Mm -hmm. You pay them 10% percentage of your ad spend, you spend $20,000, they make $2,000, that's all they care about. 
right? They don't care if the money makes a return. They just need to spend in order to earn what they need to earn to keep afloat. The good agencies will understand, yes, we can spend $20,000 this month, but we also want to make sure that the client makes their money back. We also want to make sure they make maybe double or triple their money back. So that way they can continue to grow the business and pay us without even hesitating. So we want to create that detachment from the money and make it so that they have the trust in us to give us this money at free will to duplicate, to expand, to create additional value for them so they can continue to grow, hire more people, and keep us on board for as long as they can. Mm -hmm. And what have you seen as, as the upside? I mean, I know for some folks it's obvious. I want to welcome folks that are listening, like Harvest Queen, who's now joined on. Thanks a lot. Sherry Ford, it is always a pleasure. Glad to see you. Uh, Kachita Irby, hey, Kachita. <laughs> Dale City, Garfield in the house. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and tuning in, by the way. But this, this right here, is, is just the last question then you're going to show the campaign so y'all mm -hmm. get ready we're going to show the campaign we're going to show how he really breaks down facebook ads and more importantly what he's doing in today's market using today's trends that's not only helping our business not only helping our company peak performance institute not only help, helping the black ceo our company not only helping happy entrepreneur network but so many of our clients as well he's going to break that thing down but i want him to kind of share a little bit about the, the other side of the coin. One side, he says, folks uh, are fearful, and here's why they're fearful. But then there's another group of folks who do invest in having ads because that's one of the fastest, easiest way for them to reach their target audience on a consistent basis. So David, talk about why they do it, why they're on the other side, and why they don't not only do it one time, but two times or three times or more. Yeah, so, so you have to think of advertising as like a shortcut. Okay, you have the organic ways of producing clients and customers, right? You put up a post, you email your list, which the list over time may have been from organic efforts or JV and uh, efforts or any way of, of generating additional business working with other people. And when you utilize ads, you have to consider that it's essentially you put a dollar in and the goal is to make at least that dollar back, if not more, right? And so with organic strategies what happens is is what you're really not factoring in is the amount of money it costs for that time so people will say yes i have free leads and i get free traffic and all these things are free 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 what you're really not doing is put in put a value or a dollar sign on the amount of time you spent to get those people so if you are charging someone a hundred dollars an hour for your time and you've only generated one lead that means that that one lead cost you a hundred dollars of your time Whereas if you had 100 leads, essentially it's a dollar of your time, right? It's a dollar per. For every you know, couple seconds that goes by, you got another lead. That's fantastic. But not many people have that sort of success when it comes to organic strategy anymore. So paid ads essentially allow you to bypass that. And the amount of time you're spending could be as much as 15 or 20 minutes for something that can go on and on and on whether you are on the computer or not. And so it can generate the business that you're looking for. And, and the whole reason why we're brought in is to do all of that set up for you, all the thinking behind it, all the research, the things that would take the average person four or five hours in a day to set up for just one or two campaigns, mm -hmm. we're able to do in as much as 30 to 60 minutes. So we have an entire process ready to go. And the amount of time that someone would typically say is, you know, a, a consulting call. Right. Your 30 or 60 minute consulting call, we can have two campaigns ready to go for you the moment you start that call. And by the time you're done, they're already live. And so we look at it as that that extra step or that push that maybe you didn't think would actually be beneficial to you. But we saw what the benefits are of running campaigns for hundreds of people over the last couple of years. And we've seen what it's produced for others in terms of putting a dollar in, making five back, put a dollar in, make 10 back. And it just completely revolutionizes the business, puts you in a different stratosphere that you never thought was there. And so, you know, if, if there's ever any doubt as to why you need paid ads, there's plenty of people you can ask out there who've had success and you just have to look at the journey they took to get there. And the ones who understood that it took time, it took effort, it took a lot of collaboration. When you ask them about the process, they're ecstatic to tell you about them and how much they're spending. It's the ones who didn't follow the journey, didn't give it some time. Those are the ones who say they got burned. 
those are the usually the people that say, I don't trust agencies. I don't trust media buyers. I don't trust this network. Facebook's too expensive. No, you didn't give it time. You didn't put in the effort. And so that's where I see paid ads really being, to me, the driving factor for a lot of businesses. It's like you just got to trust the process and just keep going at it. Trust the process. Keep going at it. We're here with none other than the one and only David Schlaus. Schlaus. I got it right. Schlaus. <laughs> Did I get it? Schloss. Swass. Sorry. Swass. I got it now. Swass. None other than David Swass, who's right now in Colorado. He's going to be pulling up his computer screen. He's going to be walking through the campaigns that we're using currently, campaigns he's built for his clients. And you're going to see the other side that you don't get to see of someone that truly is running Facebook ads, um, not just for himself, but for his clients. In addition to that, he's done it for corporations as well. So I can't wait when we get back. It is money time. Someone look right below the video and put money time. Look right below the video and put money time. But I wanted David to step back and give you an explanation, give you his view of the world of what he's seeing, why people want to run ads, why people don't want to run ads, why people understand them, but really don't take action. And I'm going to really tell you, for most of you watching right now, the fastest, easiest way to grow your business is just to get in front of more people who have a problem that you're solving. End of story. Like, my good friend Della Toro always talks about that you are the medicine to someone's headache. Someone has a headache right now and they're worried about this problem and you have the medicine, but they don't know you exist. And if they know, if they knew you would exist, does it mean they do business with you? No, but it means they're more likely to do business. So here's the question. What is your number one strategy for where we are in the world right now to get in front of more people? Share how you solve a problem. If they want to work with you, they work with you. If they don't, no big deal. And if the answer to your number one isn't running advertisement, whether it's Facebook, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's Instagram, whether it's any other social media platform, if that's not the answer, tune in. Even if you're like, Shay, I'm already doing it on Instagram, pay attention and learn how to do it on Facebook. Okay? This is now a money conversation. We get back. We'll be back very shortly. As soon as we get back, I'm going over to none and other than David, and he's going to walk us through this. But you look right below the video and write these words. It's money time. Someone hit the, hit someone hit the share button and write, it's money time. It's money time. When I come back, David, what time is it? It's money time. It's money time, baby. Whenever you show up, yeah, don't worry. So many times we have episodes, and it's about the results in your life. It's about encouraging. It's about inspiring. It's about motivate it's about lifting you up but other episodes like this one right here it's about the results that show up in your bank account and when you have more money you can do more good when you have more money you can help more people when you have more money you can have more meaning in the world now i'm not saying money is everything i'm not saying that but we do understand that cash flow solves a lot of problems and so it is now money time. I'm looking right below the video, and I'm looking at Dana Marie Peck, who put, it's money time. Loretta put, it's money time. Venus put, get out in front of people and solve problems. Nicole put, it's money time. Lauren Brown put, it's money time. David, I hope you're ready, because it's now showtime, baby. Uh, uh, v <laughs> I love that. Lauren said, great explanation. Venus put, dollar, 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 pound, pound, pound. It is money time. So when we come back, it's money time. Now, we're going to take a quick break and go over to none other than the one and only Dr. Dana Shana Lewis. And she talks about put your mask on first and then save other people. And that's what David's going to be talking about when he comes back. He's going to show you the mask of Facebook and how you can put that over your business and you can take your business to an entirely different level. You're watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show. My name is Shay Brown. And you have none other than the David. And this evening, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are, we're talking about how to use Facebook to make your bank account fat. <laughs> Facebook, fat bank account. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Hey family, this is your girl, Dr. Shana and founder of Your Extraordinary Life Network. And today is my January 1st. And I'm so excited to be here again with the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe to offer you a thought for today. Now today's thought is pretty simple. Put your mask on first. Now, all of us have been on an airplane before, and when you get on the plane, the stewardess always says, attention everyone in the cabin. In the case of an emergency, put your mask on first before you render help to anyone else. 
Now, this same principle applies to us as entrepreneurs. But what I know is we don't always do that. Now, I have a very extremely busy life. And I'm remembering a time when I was getting my PhD. I was running my private counseling practice. I was coaching folks. I was managing my children, nurturing my marriage. I was taking care of all these things. And I was not putting my mask on first. What happened is I became depleted, no energy, dragging, couldn't get up in the morning. I was struggling, y'all. And it wasn't until I figured out, Shayna, you have not taken care of yourself, so you are not in a position to care for anyone else. So what I had to do was stop, take time to figure out what I needed to do for me first, whether that was go to a doctor, begin exercising, meditating, and the greatest thing was connecting spiritually. Now, I understand the value of putting your mask on first because when I did that, I became more effective in every area of my life. So my question for you, my happy entrepreneur family, is are you putting your mask on first? If you're not, think of three things right now that you can do to help yourself. Meditate, listen to music, take some time out. I promise you, if you do, you'll be glad that you did. Here's to your extraordinary life. Until next time. Until next time, put your mask on first. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to turn it over to the one and only, the man himself who's come to bring you money time so you can put your <laughs> mask on first and you can grow your business, reach your target audience, and really generate that income that you need in your business. You see, some of you understand the two R's, revenue equals resources, revenue equals resources, Revenue equals resources, and you need the resources in your business in order to execute the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. In the one area, what's up, Gina Bell? The one area, hey, what's up, Rudolph? The one area that may have been holding you back is you just don't have the resources. One of the things we've been teaching, David, and it's one of the principles that we've been sharing is that the opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. And, and so when we have a show like this, when someone like you is here to help them develop their resources so they can execute the vision they have for the people they were called to serve, then all of a sudden they have greater self-esteem. They have more pride, there's more joy, there's more fulfillment, and that's going to happen. So do me a favor as I welcome none other than David to the table. Look below the video, all of my note takers, look below the video, pay this forward and write these words, I must develop my resources. You've got Facebook, I must develop my resources. There's an audience waiting to hear your message, I must develop my resources. Someone has a headache and you got the medicine. I must develop my resources. Selling equals service. It is time for you to hashtag serve so big. I must develop my resources. So with that being said, David, let me turn over to you to take them behind the curtain. He's going to pull back that big black curtain in a moment and reach into his treasure chest of secrets. And he's going to share with you what he's done for other clients. And David, take your time, man. Let's walk them through it. With that being said, David, I turn it over to you. You got it. So before I share my screen and, and break down the process we've used for this client, just want to give you a little backstory around this client. So she was having some issues around getting appointments. And not just any appointments, we're talking people who have the funds to buy into a five or ten thousand dollar package. Now I'm sure a lot of you have a package similar to that. Some of you may have a cheaper package. Some of you might even have something that's even more expensive than that, and that's fine. But she simply wanted to rebuild her entire business because the last agency, the last media buyers that worked with her did not quite get her the results she was looking for. And I've he I hear that story all the time, and it happens. Sometimes the plan is not clear-cut enough, and you need a fresh set of eyes and a new brain involved in the process. And so we developed a campaign for her that was multiple parts. We wanted to get some content in the rotation. We wanted to make sure that people became aware of who she was again mm -hmm. and made sure that they had the opportunity to book a call with her or at least consume something for free. And so if those of you are looking to create something similar, 
consider this. You need something to give away for free, PDF, cheat sheet, quiz, it could be anything. And you need to have some sort of value proposition to get them to want to book a call with you. That value prop being, in this case, she has a proprietary system that can get someone a lot of immediate attention, a lot of press, thus a lot of traffic to their site, and then be able to convert them into customers. And so we wanted to make sure to create something for her that would allow her to have that same look and feel of what she's creating for her clients, but done from a paid advertising standpoint. Be everywhere. Be everywhere to the point where people are consuming things for free, people are seeing content for free, they're getting PDFs for free, but then when they want that next big thing, they have to book a call with her. And so what I'm going to break down for you is how we were able to get her leads, how we were able to showcase her content, and how we were able to generate qualified phone calls. Not just phone calls, qualified phone calls. And so you're actually going to see an ad account that's live right now, and you're going to see exactly what's running. All right, so wow. I'm going to share my screen. All right, let's go to the screen. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. We're going to the screen. I must develop my resources. I must develop my resources. All right, David, we're coming over to the screen right about now. Oh, this is cool. I can show you and the screen. Isn't that cool? All right. <laughs> All right. We have the screen up now. Take All right. Here. Perfect. So just so everyone's aware of what you are seeing on your screen right now, very left-hand side is the campaign names. And then what you're seeing on your screen are actual results. And I will break down what each result means for you. But just to give you some context really quick, we have a variety of different campaigns. Okay, We have these two campaigns here, which are revolved around content. Now, for those of you who've listened to me on the morning show, the Black CEO morning show, I talked about what's called the dollar a day strategy. The dollar a day strategy is essentially taking your content from your fan page. Maybe you have content in your group that you transfer to a fan page. The point is that this content resides on your fan page. And what you are doing is simply promoting this content from your fan page to these audiences that you eventually are going to target with your freebie. Your freebie being a lead magnet that you're going to give away. But this content that you're putting out there and advertising for a dollar a day is going to give you an idea of what they like to hear, what these audiences like to engage with, whether they like, comment, or share, or are they messaging you in your message box saying like, hey, your content's awesome, I love it, and the great part is it only takes a dollar a day. And so we've put a multitude of different content, different audiences in place, and just let this content run every month since May, just letting it run. And so these two campaigns, the IWI campaign, as you can see, one is for video and one's for image. The whole point of us putting these together is that in one campaign, we have all of her video content. And as you can see, we put the dates of when the content went live. And we also have our audiences that we wanted to run ads to, and we bundle them all together. So in this case, it was all of her lookalike audiences. A lookalike is an audience that was created from a source audience, a source audience being an email list of all your leads, an email list of buyers. Uh, it could be people who visited your site. The point is we took all these lookalikes that we had created for her and then meshed them together with interests that we wanted to target. And then by bundling them all together, these audiences would come out to, let's just say, five, six, seven million people. It's a lot of people. So we knew that as long as we put out this content, it's going to be seen from a unique standpoint for very long periods of time because it's going to be a while before you can exhaust a five, six, seven million person audience. And so we put together the content into each ad set. So each ad set is the same audience but it's a different piece of content. So for example, as you could see over here, each date is a different piece of content. They all reflect on their own ad set and some run and some don't. But the whole point is that as you could see from here, this campaign generated over 54,000 engagements 
for $558. Engagements meaning views, likes, comments, shares, and that's what's considered an engagement. And they all cost at least one cent. Some videos we've even had at one point for less than a cent per engagement. Now, are we seeing hundreds of likes every day? No. Are we seeing hundreds of shares every day? No. What's interesting though is because we know that these at least represent views, these are people we're able to retarget, which I will show you in a moment, we're able to retarget for a different offer. That's our whole intent is to show people this content and then we can create an audience of all the people who viewed this content, all the people who've engaged with this content and then show them the next phase of the campaign. The next phase being go consume something else, something different. Instead of it being on-site, it's going to be off-site. And so as you can see, we also tried an image version of this. It didn't quite work as well. Image being that the content posted on the fan page was ad copy and an image, whereas the version with a video worked incredibly well. We were averaging great engagement, and the people – who were coming in from the video campaigns were not only responding to the message by commenting, they were also responding by messaging the fan page for more information. Some of them even went through and became leads and eventually applications. And that's that's the dollar a day strategy. It's very simple. You take the content you have posted on your fan page and you create audiences for each one. And so you take your master audience, you have a piece of content that goes out on a Monday, you set it up there. You got one that goes out Tuesday, you set up another one. You essentially could set up a dollar a day for every single piece of content you create. Or if you are stingy with your budget, better yet, you can create one ad set and pile all of your content into one ad set and let it run for a dollar a day and it'll just rotate. Facebook David, will rotate that one dollar. If I can, I want to talk about the dollar strategy. Take a moment, and you said master audience. And for some yeah. folks, you know, that, that might have went a little bit over their head when you sure. mentioned master audience. And for some folks, they might be wondering, like, kind of how we started. Like, okay, where do I even start? <laughs> like, yeah. do I start with my email list? Do I start with my text message list? Do I start with what's in my database? Like, like um, give them – you might have to break it down just one more level for them so they understand, one, what a master audience is. And then sure. have that mass audience do something and then take them to the next step. Sure. So so what you see on your screen is a part of that master audience. So as you can see, we created all these different lookalikes of different elements of other custom audiences and other email lists, right? So for example, we created a lookalike of every person who previously applied for her programs. We took a master email list of non-buyers and created a lookalike of that list. We created another non-buyers list and created a lookalike of that. So we took all these email lists that she had and we took custom audiences, custom audiences being something like, oh, okay, they have landed on this landing page. They've sub submitted information for an opt-in. Like we're, we're creating audiences from different actions, okay? And when we did that, We've created essentially phase one of our master audience. We have these lookalikes. Phase two is the location. Do we want to just target the U.S.? Do we want to target Canada? Do we want to target both? She wants to target both. That's what we did. Then phase three is what are the related interests or topics that are within these lookalike audiences where we could find the ideal person for this offer? And so we plugged in Brennan Burchard, coaching, consultant, consulting firm, because typically these are the people that are either with a certain job, they follow a specific influencer, or maybe they learn certain subject matter from uh, you know, different industries. So we plugged in these different interests into this group, and now we've created our master audience. So essentially what Facebook is doing is it's saying we want to take all these people in here which comes up to millions of people. We want to then strip out the ones who live in U the U.S. and Canada. Mm -hmm. And then to go further, we want to strip out that they're at least 25 to 64. Mm -hmm. And then to go one layer deeper than that, we want to strip out all the people who are at least interested in any of these subjects. And that's the master audience. 
So we've bundled everything together. Normally, if you were doing a more complex campaign, like I usually do, we would do all the lookalikes together and just one interest at a time. And we would just do a different ad set or a different audience for every single interest. And that could end up being 15 or 20 ad sets at a time. But we decided to bundle them together, one for money efficiency, mm -hmm. and two, we wanted to just see from a, from a big standpoint whether or not these audiences, when combined, actually are aligned with the messages that we're putting out there. So, and so, so Dave, if I can, mm -hmm. let, me, let me break this thing down for just one layer. Th that was a beautiful explanation for most folks. They're probably seeing behind the scenes for the first time. I know we're going to show some more in a moment. Mm -hmm. um, let me see if I can put it in terms. If you're getting some good stuff so far and this is good and you want David to show more, do me a favor. Just look right below the video and put, great job, David. Just put, David, you're doing wonderful. Put, David, fantastic job. Just so David knows that he's providing some value here because, you know, a little nervous, always like, okay, I'm going to show my screen and can they see it? It's kind of not for everybody, but it's for somebody. So I want to make sure that we're on track. So do me a favor, Venus. Do me a favor, Lauren. Do me a favor, Gina. Do me a favor, Michelle. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and just put, great job. Or I'm getting value. Or hashtag serve so big. If David is serving big, just put hashtag serve so big. Because the first thing that you may do, and David will jump in and correct me, is you would take your existing list that you have. So let's say you just have um, a, a CRM system. And yep. you would take your CRM system and you would upload your entire list. So that would be first yep. name, last name, phone number, and email. Let's make it basic for most of you. And you upload that to the list. Now, David, I'm going to do a check to see if you're doing a good job. If David's doing a good job, look right below the video because we've got more. Like, he's showing his screen. Can they show the screen? Let's show him the screen. He's showing the screen. He's going step by step. He's laying the foundation. And I jumped in for just a moment because I want to make sure that I'm kind of sharing a few things that he's doing that I know is going to help every single one of you. So you want to know step one, step two, step three. Step one, go right now and you would upload your list. If you have not uploaded your current list to Facebook, David is in the last 30 days, last 60 days, last... Some of them have never done it. So it ain't no big deal for some of them. Some of them are like, shit, I ain't never done it. Okay, I know about it. I just ain't the ain't. I use ain't with capital letters. Done it. Do it. Do it. And we're going to tell you how you can do it. You can be part of a Facebook club. We're going to tell you how you can do that in just a moment. But David, um, if they have done it, should they do it every six months? Or does it depend on the activity they're doing? Yeah, so the, the first upload, you're just going to do your all-time list. Anybody. Anyone that's been a part of your list forever. Okay. Okay. So some of them have never done that at all, David. I'm not, it's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. We're not here mm -hmm. to beat anybody up. I'm just saying it is what it is. Look. Yeah. Trevor and I have uploaded a list a number of times. And just a few days ago, we had the same conversation with David. We mm -hmm. uploaded. We downloaded our list of all our text numbers, all our phone numbers. We went through this exercise. And I can't tell you how many times we've done this already. But because of David's wisdom... We had to go and recreate and reorganize, which I hope he'll tell you how to do in a moment. So you take your list first and then you mm -hmm. upload it. Now, if you don't want to do it, don't worry about that. We're going to talk about how that could be done. But if you're not doing that right now, you're wasting money. Can yep. I say that? I'm exactly. not an expert. You're wasting no, it, it, money. That's exactly if you it. Just hit you the need boost to upload button and say, Here's $25 a day because I don't know what to do. You might as well go to Vegas. You got a better chance of winning, baby. All right. You really do. So we're going to break it down. Then once you upload the list, then David was breaking down what you do with that list. So you have your whole list, and then maybe inside there you say, well, if I go back and I look, and that's your master list, if I go back and look at my database, Shay, I ran this webinar called Happy Entrepreneur Show. Selfish plug, by the way, selfish plug. But it says Happy Entrepreneur Show. So maybe you want to take download from your database just the Happy Entrepreneur Show and then you're going to take the Happy Entrepreneur Show and then you're going to load that from following you, David, from following you into Facebook. And that's its own unique custom audience because now you can talk to people who just went and viewed the Happy Entrepreneur Show. Is that right so far, David? Yep. OK, OK, because it's good. Good. So they're picking up what I'm putting down. He was showing a little bit in Facebook, which we're going to get back to in just a moment. This is a money conversation. Only pay attention if you want results in your bank account. If you're someone that says, hey, I don't need results in my bank account. I'm just focused on results in my life. Great. I'm glad you're here. Come on back because we always have episodes to help you get results in your life. This is results in your what? Bank account. 
Venus said, you're doing a great job, by the way. What's up, Kathy Anderson? Gina Bell says, David, great job. Hashtag serve so big. Tammy Lawrence says, great job, David. She's listening. Dana Marie Peck, hey, you're still up. She's always up, by the way. She put, thanks, David. This is helpful. Nicole Brown Hurston, we ain't got started. Tell him, David. <laughs> this is like, uh, he's like, Shay, quit playing around. Give me, give me back the microphone, baby. It's coming back to you, man. It's coming back to you. Tanya Prickett said, great job. Venus said, awesome, fantastic. We are on the right track at the right time. And you're making it happen, by the way. So I want to welcome all of you to the Happy Entrepreneur Show. You're, none, you're here with none other than David. He just broke down how to start your custom audience, how to do the dollar a day strategy. You did so, say a dollar a day, right? It is a dollar a day. And so the, the main thing that I want to just put some attention on really quick. Mm -hmm. For those of you who've never created custom audiences, never had lookalikes, that's okay. This could be done without it. So keep in mind everything I've set up. If you don't have lookalikes, you don't have lists to start with, you could still set up everything else I talked about, right? You could still set up location. You could still set up your age. You could still even set up interests, your detailed targeting. And this same process works for that too. The reason why we started with lookalikes is because we had it available. We created them. We used the source list, right? Her buyers, non-buyers, things of that nature. And we went ahead and created more. If we didn't have that information, we would simply just be using interest targets or keyword targets. And those work just fine. And so just keep in mind, this could be done either way. It could be done with a combination of both. And then from there, like I said, you're setting up everything at a dollar a day. I was just simply showing you how the audience is broken down. But as you could see on this screen, look at the budget. Everything is a dollar. Everything's a dollar. And some of these have been running for 45 days long because $45, right? That's why we have some of these things that are in place where they're just consistently running. Some have run for a day, some run for 10 days, some run for 45 days, and they just keep going and going and going. But like I said, the whole intent of this campaign was to just build awareness around this brand, right? This is who she is. This is her messaging. Here's what she could teach you. And we're doing this for a dollar a day and just letting it rotate. Now say that one more time because some, some of you need to write this down. Some of you ask the question, what do I do? You wake up and say, I got to go prospect. And the only thing you know to do is to make phone calls and there's nothing wrong with that. The only thing you know to do is to send emails. Nothing wrong with that in lieu of doing nothing else. The only thing you know to do is try to find out if you can go to a, a, a BNI meeting. Nothing wrong with BNI or some meeting somewhere when really sitting at your fingertips is a list of people who don't know you right now. Yep. And the list of people who don't know you right now is so much longer than the list of people who do know you. And I'm, I'm gonna share this and I'm gonna get it back over to David. And this is so true. I said, look, your number one job, your number one responsibility as an entrepreneur, the number one thing you should do every single day when you wake up is find someone with a problem. I want you to jot this down in your notes. It's, it's a belief and then we're gonna go back to David, but it's so true and here it is. People will pay you today if you help them solve a problem today. So if you know your number one job when you wake up every day is to find someone with a problem, then the question comes up, well, where are the people? I don't know, Shay, 7.7 .7 billion people on the planet. Got it. A couple billion people sitting in Facebook. Got it. Going to go buy a new T-shirt today. I don't know, $30. Maybe I should advertise for a month. Going to go to lunch today. I don't know. It's going to cost you another $25. I, 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 I. Got to do whatever it is you got to do. What I'm suggesting to you is that you have a budget that's placed to the side for advertising. I don't care if you put it into a magazine. I don't care if you do it into a radio station. I don't care if you toss it over here. I don't care where you put it. But if you're sitting here right now and Trevor and I just had this come to Jesus, if I can use that term, with ourselves and said this money over here has to be allocated to Facebook advertising. Why? Because Facebook has my customer. And so you ask yourself all the time, who has my quest who has my customer? And I want you to tell yourself, Facebook has my customer. Shea Brown 
may have your customer. Happy Entrepreneur Tribe may have your customer. David may have your customer. But one thing we know for sure is that Facebook has your customer. I'm not here to convince you to run ads. I'm just here to share that there is an easier way to do what you're doing right now. And maybe you're saying, I can't work any more hours. Okay? There's an easier way. So, Dave, when we come back, I, I, I want to walk them through that, by the way. And I want you all to put a budget. So, look right below the video. Put, look right below the video. And I want you to make this decoration. And I want you to write these words to yourself. I have a budget for advertising. Just, just look right below the video. Look right below the video and write those words. I have a budget for advertising. Now, if you're thinking, I want to get the notes. You're thinking, I want to get the replay. You're thinking, I want to get behind the scenes because David got some goodies that he's going to give away. Or I just need someone to put my target audience together. I need, to, I need to do that right now. Let me give you a special number to do right now. You want you to text the number 202-270-1662. Let me give you that number. 202 202- 270-1662. Give it to you again. Text 202-270-1662. When you text that number, 202-270-1662, make sure you put in there Facebook ads. Just put Facebook ads and include your first name. This is important. Include your last name. This is important. Include your best contact number. This is important. And your email. First name. Last name, contact number, email. Text that. Text the word Facebook ads to 202-270-1662. I will make sure you get the goodies, the special bonus gift, the notes. Don't worry, we're hosting a master class as well. You will be invited. You will be on the front row. And as you go over to the next 30 days and you get ready, when you do your plan, I want you to put in there Facebook I mean, a budget for Facebook ads. When you are writing your list of goals, I want you to include advertising. When you ask the question, how will I reach my target audience? Your top two answers. One of those is advertising. You do that, and I promise you, I'll see you 90 days from now, your business will not look like what it is right now. It doesn't matter if you're introvert or extrovert. Doesn't matter if you have a degree or no degree. Doesn't matter how long you've been in business. In fact, if you're new and you're green to business, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your time. Don't follow the masses. And if you've been around a business for a number of years and you're a seasoned professional, then you know sometimes it's just time for a change. It's just time for a change. And David started something called the Facebook Ads Club. And the Facebook Ads Club is a club of us who are all coming together for one purpose and one purpose only. And that is to utilize the best ideas, the best strategies, and have the greatest minds aboard to help us do what? Reach our target audience and make them aware that we can help solve a problem. Introvert or extrovert, does it really matter? Introvert or extrovert, does it really matter? Don't worry, we're coming right back. We come right back. We're gonna come back with none other than David. He's gonna break it down. We're just getting started. Do wanna say hello, I see you out there. Tammy says, I have a budget. They're saying you're doing a great job. What's up, Darren Hill? Thanks for joining. Tina Wolf, it is always a pleasure. David, you're knocking it out the box, my man. Someone just wrote the word truth. With that being said, let's go over to none other than the one and only Iris. What's going on, Iris? How introverts are good at solving problems. So don't matter if you're introvert or extrovert. <laughs> we all can use Facebook. How true is that? We'll be back in just a moment. You're here watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country. You're here with none other than The David, all the way in Colorado. And my name is Shay Brown. We'll be back in just a moment. It's money time. We'll see you shortly. Hello, Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. Iris Allison here, and today is my January 1st. And I'm so glad to share with you my thoughts about why introverts make great entrepreneurs. And today it's about how awesome we are at solving problems. We are definitely problem solvers. So come to, th come to think of this, have you ever come across a problem that's for the most part, it became so easy for us to solve, but it might be hard for others. This could be like solving math problems or puzzles, for example. 
You know, I read an article a while back that, that according to research, introverts actually have a thicker gray matter in their prefrontal cortex. It's an area in their brain where abstract thinking and decision making happen. So you can just imagine it's where a lot of complex activities happen, right? Which means for us, it helps us make decisions better after giving it a great thought and reflecting on creative ways to solve them. So in other words, we typically don't make snap decisions, like on-spot decisions, because our goal is also to have quality work. And as leaders, we want to make sure that we have success in our business as well as with our team, right? I hope this is helpful for you, HET Rockstars and friends. Thank you for watching this. Until next time, have a brilliant day. Have a brilliant day. Look, it doesn't matter if you're introvert or extrovert, you can do this. And especially when you have the one and only, the man himself, none other than David. David, I'm going to turn it back over to you, man. Continue on sharing your message on how to use Facebook ads to reach your target audience in 10x. We use that word loosely, 10x. But if you were to really 10x anything, what would you do? In order for tomorrow to be different, we got to do something different today. It's a quote I've been saying for the last week. And so I'm going to ask, what are you going to do different? For some of you, you're coming down the home stretch of this quarter. What are you going to do differently? For some of you, you have a big heart. You're walking in your purpose and your passion, but you're lacking the resources to reach the people you were called to serve. It's time for a change. So I'm going to encourage you at least watch with new eyes. I want you to listen with new ears as David walks you through step by step exactly what you could do in your business to use Facebook ads to reach another audience. David, my man, uh, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Awesome. So <clears throat> you have the dollar a day strategy set up, right? So you have your content running in the background. It basically runs every day uninterrupted. At what I'm looking for is at least a penny per engagement, right? So a penny per view, like, comment, share, a, a link click, anything that can be averaging out to at least a cent. And you'll see it here when you set up your campaign. It's called a page post engagement campaign. So the goal is to keep it at about a cent. If you can get it lower than that, fantastic. And David, it's called what again? I know you're showing it in the column. He's showing it right now. What is it called? Mm -hmm. One more time. Page post engagement. Okay. So when you are creating these, these ads, the next phase of this, once you've developed this audience of viewers, these people who've engaged, is now you're going to look at retargeting them so it's essentially retargeting is sending a message to people who have already viewed some form of content you've created so you're creating an audience of people who've engaged with your content viewed it and now you're sending them an alternative message the alternative message being in this case how would you like to get a free gift and so we created a campaign which i have labeled here appropriately retargeting to opt-in because the whole purpose of this campaign is to bring people back that have already viewed something and get them to opt in for our free gift, essentially become a part of our email list. Mm -hmm. Now, David, David just said something that's very important. I just want to jump in here for just a moment. He said, use retargeting. And, and some of you, when he said that, you intellectually got it. But I want you to ask yourself right now, are you using retargeting in your business? Now, he's showing you Facebook ads is the fastest, easiest way to reach your target audience for many of you. He said a cent per click. That's what he's looking for, a cent, a cent. Now, you, put, you take out a dollar. Well, who carries dollars around anymore? But you look at your phone and you see a dollar in your bank account. And think about that dollar somewhere someone is clicking, if I got you right, David, they're taking some action because of your ad, because of something you sent out, a text message. And so you're tracking that. Just the data alone for some of you is like, it's like right now you're operating your business and you have you don't have high speed internet. Forget files. <laughs> you don't even have high speed internet. You're like dial up, baby. Like AOL. Well, I don't think that was the sound, was it? It's more like <sighs> we probably remember. You got mail. You know, you you're back in that day. And so retargeting, and I'm gonna do the remix version on it, because if you're not using retargeting, imagine you go to Amazon, you wanna buy these shoes. 
I love t-shirts. I'm just a t-shirt whore. It's just the type of guy I am, right? So you go and you go buy, you go look at this t-shirt. You look at some shoes. You don't buy the shoes. You go to Facebook, you open up Facebook, and guess what you see on the right-hand side? Those shoes. I know. I know. Isn't it terrible? You open up Instagram because you're like, I got to get away from those shoes because I'm going to buy those shoes if I see them one more time. I thought about it. I say, I feel like going upstairs and getting my credit card at the moment. And then you look, and they're on Instagram or what? Those shoes. You say, my gosh, I wonder if they're on sale. You go to Google, open up your browser, and what do you see? I know, I know, I know it's bad. Those shoes. I was at Best Buy just yesterday with my son. And I'm in Best Buy, and my son got a new microphone. He has this new mic, and I had to get a mic. Cause anyway, it was, it's a long story. Maybe I'll play that video. And, 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 and so he says, Dad, I know what's going to happen. We're in the car. I said, what? I'm open up Facebook which I hardly ever do, but on Instagram, that ad from Best Buy, that road mic is going to show it over and over and over again. And there's nothing I can do about it. He uses the word nothing. And I looked at him. I thought to myself, Shay, on a scale of one to ten, one meaning you do a really poor job, and ten meaning you're the world's greatest person at using it, and where are you at just implementing retargeting? Most of you might be like myself. Do you think most folks are a five or higher or a five and below? I'm on the below category. I'm a hard grader, but I'm on the below category. So just David mentioned that. David, I got to turn it back over to you. Just to mention that and the fact that someone went to your website, never took an action, and you now can follow them or they're in a custom audience in Facebook is a breakthrough. The fact that someone went to your page to look at coming to your webinar joining your conference call, watching your show, or even even had a remote interest in coming to your event that was taking place. The fact that you can follow them around or you can identify them, a piece of data is a breakthrough. David just gave many of you a $100,000 idea. Now, I'm going to stop. I'm going to turn it back over to him. For, for many of you out there right now, between now and the end of your business career, you implement retargeting. You follow the audience. You build that custom audience. And guess what? You will earn an extra $100,000 over and beyond what you would have earned by the end of your selling career. Just that one idea. But in the Facebook ad club, well, that's what David and the team do. They don't just teach these ideas. They do them for you. They don't just do them for you. They also makes you understand. You don't just understand. Your team understands. And you didn't get in business to create a job for yourself. You got in business to make a difference for someone else in their business or in their life. So that's what we want you focusing on. So with that being said, let me let me turn back over to you, David, because it, it, it look, <sighs> this is a money conversation. I'll just say that again. Money time. Take it away, David. So the the two audiences that we're focusing on are people who've engaged with your content and people who viewed them. So as you can see, they're easily labeled on the left-hand side. You know, one's for everyone who's engaged in the last year on your fan page. And the other one is people who've watched at least three seconds of any content. And the reason we chose three seconds is because it's the shortest time span of viewership that you can create an audience. And so the great thing is, is that you could see here, you know, we were able to achieve 110 leads and 134 leads just from these two audiences of retargeting people who've already viewed our content. It may not seem like a lot, but consider this. It only cost us about $6.58 to bring someone back and have them consume a piece of content from us that they ended up getting for free. They went through our sales funnel, our, our you know essentially our web page that says, hey, we're giving away something for free. Cost about six dollars and fifty eight cents to get one of those people who viewed a piece of content on Facebook to then give us their email. Now, for some people, you're thinking, ah, that's that's kind of expensive. Well, that's all relative when you're selling something that's ten thousand dollars or five thousand dollars, because all it really takes is ten percent of these people to become an application, which would mean we'd have at least twenty four to twenty five applications, and we know exactly how many of those it takes to acquire at least one customer which would mean we only spent $1,606 to get at least one customer, all right? So when you start looking at things that way and you realize, oh, I spent $1,606 plus 
maybe the other 500 we spent on content, so let's just say $2,100, and we would acquire at least at least one customer at 10K, meaning we at least had a profit of $7,900 on free content and a free giveaway. We were able to profit $7,900, but acquire a $10,000 sale, okay? Now, if we take this one step further, we were also making sure to run ads to the people who've become a lead, and we did what's called retargeting to book a call. So remember, you could retarget every step. I could retarget viewers to opt in for something, and I can retarget people who've opted in to take the next step. The next step being, don't forget to book a call. Yeah. And so we put together a campaign, and complete registration is, is essentially what we were optimizing for. That's a, a, a lead, someone who has opted in for the free gift. And we would show them these videos reminding them, don't forget to book a call, don't forget to book a call. And what you'll see here is we were following people a lot. Frequency is the amount of times per day they are seeing your ad. And look at this. We had one can we had one audience that was seeing ads almost 13 times a day and another ad that's almost 5 times a day. We wanted to make sure that within a 7-day period of showing you these ads, you booked a call. If you didn't, we were going to keep bothering you until you booked a call. Because that was the whole intention. We want you to book a call. The yeah. moment you take something from us for free, mm -hmm. we want you to book a call. And we David, just kept reminding you. There's some people out there, they're listening right now, you know, they sell or you offer solutions that are $2,000. Some of you offer solutions that are $5,000. Some of you offer solutions that yeah. are $20,000. And the biggest challenge you have is, well, where do I find the people? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll put on my own event. I have my own birthday party. I'll pay for my own event and somebody's going to show. Or others of you say, I know, I'm going to call a friend up and let's just collaborate. Like, by osmosis, these folks are going to show up. And it does work. But is that a business model? Mm -hmm. Is it repeatable? Is it duplico I mean, duplicatable? And is it scalable? What, what David is sharing with you, you in fact can do and it can be done for you. So I want you to imagine for a moment. Not you. Because you have a sales team, you're part of our sales club, you have a sales team, we're running appointments for you. You are at the dentist getting your teeth cleaned. You ran an ad, someone booked an appointment. Your sales team talked to the person, closed the deal. You were at lunch and got a text. Maybe it was on your uh, Slack channel. <laughs> you got a notification through Slack because you got Zapier. That's a topic for another time, by the way. And then, bing, bing, like, oh my gosh, that was a good day. You were never there. You go, you talk to David. David looks at your ad and says, guess what? But that cost us $220. Really? Yeah. And you're like, okay, what are you going to say? Now, let me, let me tell you why I say this. If, if I was to take you to Vegas and I was to guarantee you that for every dollar you spent, you got a return of $1,000. For every dollar you spend, you get a return for $1,000. Here's my question if you're in Vegas. You're not even drunk, but you're in Vegas. How many dollars would you put down? How fast would you do it? As fast and as often as you possibly could. And you do it over and over and over again. And that's what running Facebook ads is. Not guaranteed, obviously, but it is a way to help you do something other than what you're doing now because you have multiple lead generation strategies. Now, some of you just want David to do it for you. Some of you want David's team to put all this together. Some of you want to be part of what we call the Facebook Ads Club, and it's a club of us, and it's just all that we do every day, all day, every day, all day, every day, all day. And that's one of the things I like about David. This is what he does every day, all day, every day, all day, one client after the next, after the next, looking at the analytics and looking at what's going on in the world, looking at how Facebook is changing their algorithms and looking at the adjustment that needs to be made and because he's doing it every day while you are out writing new content, while you are out speaking to an audience, while you are sleeping in late, while you, like myself the other day, I'm at the gym with my personal trainer, the company is still running and you are not there. The number one addiction we have is an addiction to our labor. So we're trying to introduce ways for you to reduce your labor 
take back your time, reclaim your life, and reach your target audience. If that's you, you're like, Shay, that's me. Shay, that's me. Shay, that's me all day long. Here, I'm going to give you a special number. You're going to text Facebook ads. Get the information. Get the details. Get the resources. Here's what I'm going to do. Text 202 270 one six six two. Let me give you that number again. Text two zero two two seven zero one six six two. Text two zero two two seven zero one six six two. Do it when now. Do it when now. Do it when. I don't have to clap again. Now, right? And you're gonna text the word Facebook ads. Now you must do something when you text the word Facebook ads. You must include your first name. I'm requiring that. You must include your last name. I'm requiring that. You must include your best contact number. I'm requiring that. Once you do that, we're going to send you all of the details because this is not one of those calls you get inspired. It's not one of the calls I want you jumping up and down shouting. It's not one of the calls I want you to say, yes, 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 I must. I got to. No, I want you to say, it is happening. I'm going to plan. I'm going to prepare. And I'm going to push through this thing. And I'm going to do it with someone and a team that this is all they do every day, all day, and that's the Facebook Ads Club. At least get the details. So text 202-270-1662. Again, 202-270-1662. With that being said, I want you to know you're here with none other than David. When he comes back, he's going to continue. He's going to continue. But text 202-270-1662. Text Facebook Ads. Include your first name. Don't call me now. Y'all are calling me. Include your first name, include your last name, include your best contact number, and our team will follow up with you. With that being said, we'll be back, David, in just a moment. You're here on the Happy Entrepreneur Show with none other than David, the Facebook guru. You'll find him, what Forbes had to say about him from a social media perspective, what Huntington Post, I mean, Huffington Post had to say about him. Don't worry about that. What, what, what Entrepreneur Magazine had to say about him and so many other folks. This is the man. If you're ever in any of some of the other groups that we're in and someone says, I need help. Does anyone, someone, anywhere, anywhere know anything about Facebook? The name that pops up to the top is the person you're sitting over there. It's like Santa's elves. You just never see him because <laughs> he's behind the scenes working. Is that you, David? Always behind the scenes working? Always. <laughs> he's patting himself on the back. Someone do me a favor. Look right, look right below the video and say it's time for a change. Just do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and put it's time for a change. If you've been running the same lead generation system, it's time for for a change. With that being said, we'll be right back. My name is Shay Brown. Again, you're watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show, and many of you now will be introduced for the first time, an opportunity to come hang out at the closed conference. We'll be right back. It's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the founder of the Happy Entrepreneur Network and the host of the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country, the Happy Entrepreneur Show. And I'm super excited. I'm over the moon, just enjoyed to be able to share this special VIP invitation for you to join me at the closedconference.com. Just look right below the video, look right below the video and go to close conference.com an opportunity for you to attend virtually or in person now who is this for if you're an entrepreneur if you're a speaker if you're a coach if you're a network marketer if you're in the personal professional development or you're just someone right now that is overwhelmed and overworked and you need to generate some qualified leads of people who want to work with you whether they come from online leads or offline leads then you need to be there or maybe you're someone that wants to you know you say well Shay Right now, I have what's called yo-yo entrepreneur type of revenue, right? Got reasons, but no results. So it's time for you really to put together your own seven-figure revenue generating infrastructure so you can make more money without your labor, you can take back your time, and you can take back your life, then you want to be there. Or maybe you just want to be able to broadcast, just like I'm doing right now. I'm at Broadcastpreneur Studios right here in this set right now, and you need to reach your audience online through the power of those fiber optic lines, then you need to be at what? TheClosedConference.com. Or maybe it's just time for you to get all the resources you need in your business so you can serve the people you were called to serve and have more meaning in the world, have more impact in the world, and make a dollar and a difference at the same time. If that's you, look right below the video, look right below the video, and go to Close 
Conference.com. I promise you, you'll learn about how to generate unlimited sponsorships. You'll learn about how to tell your story and have more impact. And more importantly, more importantly, you're going to have more success, more joy, and more happiness in your business. I'm so excited. Look, join me at CloseConference.com. Share this with all your friends. I'm looking forward to seeing you. My promise to you is it'll be a good use of your time. My promise to you is that you're going to generate more revenue than you've ever generated before in your life and have more happiness. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone, and I promise you we'll make some good things how we connect again next time. God bless, and I wish you success. See you soon. See you soon. I'm looking forward to connecting with all of you over at the closed conference. It's going to be amazing. It's an opportunity for us to meet face to face and sit down and do all the things that we know we need to do. David, I won't interrupt you again. I'll let you continue on, my man. I think you're coming down the home stretch, but I know we have to have another part, but I want to turn it back over to you, my man. Awesome. So we're actually at the last part now where, you know, I mentioned that we do retargeting to get people to book a call. And it's it's really simple. Once you set it up, it literally just runs in the background just like that dollar a day strategy, right? It's just running in the background. It's reminding your leads to show up to a call, to book a call. Now consider this. Once that piece is set up, once you've put together that retargeting to the opt-in, you know, getting people who've watched your content to opt-in for a free gift, those two campaigns alone just run continuously in the background. Same thing with your dollar a day strategy. And so now that you have these elements built – You could put your attention on generating more leads from cold audiences. Cold audiences being those lookalikes that you created, those interest groups that you came up with in doing your research. And this is where you're going to now create additional campaigns with the sole focus being I need more leads. So as an example, as you can see, I'm just going to highlight for you real quick. We created these campaigns all revolved around lead gen, generating leads. You know, we've had campaigns produce $6.84 a lead, $4.62, $5.78, $4.79. Like, and you got to remember, these are leads being generated in a very crowded space. She's a business coach. She's teaching people how to optimize their business, get more media attention, drive more traffic, close more deals. It's not something that's brand new. She just has her own spin to it. And the reason why we were able to generate leads at this level, which is actually considered normal, it's actually a a average type of cost per lead in the space and not below average or it costs too much. We We were averaging this number because we were saying all the right things in the ads that got people's attention to at least consume an additional item for free, being her opt in, her free gift. And when you look at it from that standpoint, all we were doing was taking a completely separate ad, an ad that would say, hey, thank you so much for checking out my content. We'd love to give you an opportunity to opt in for a free gift. That's all it really is. It's just teasing people as to what's this thing I'm giving away? Why should they download this item? And so these six campaigns we put together, it not only spent the majority of the budget. I mean, you could see, you know, we spent over $16,000 in the course of this campaign so far. But this campaign has produced over $100,000. And that is because we know what to say to these people. We've tested the content, so we know what they want. We've retargeted them, and we see what is grabbing their attention from there, what's retargeting them to download the free gift. How's that working? Same thing with retargeting them to book a call. How's that working? We've already gotten the data we need to put people along this, this journey, going from free content on Facebook to free content off Facebook to booking a call. And so all we had to do was focus on was content to people who've never heard of us before, cold audiences, and seeing what would get them to take that next step of getting that free gift. And the funny thing is, is when you look at the total cost of these campaigns together, this camp, these campaigns were $13,700 of the $16,700 spent. So we only spent $3,000 on content and retargeting. Everything else was driving brand new people. When you get to that point, it's a numbers game. So 2,605 people went through the first ad to leaving us at least their email. And then from there, we took them along the journey. 
And when you look at the total results here, really quick, when we this take is for time. the entire take take your time, it's cool, man. You got it, it's cool, it's all yep. good. So when we take the campaigns here, when, what you now whenever see it's, when, whenever it's money time, um, yeah. we don't rush. Whenever we're putting results in their bank account, David, we let we let them we let them we let them we let them relax a little bit. You know, not often they get to talk about how to get results in the bank account. Most of them have never seen what you're showing ever in their life, right? So you're already behind the scenes. By the way, I don't know. This is probably a fifty thousand dollar conversation, but. Um, it's cool. I'm enjoying it. I know you're coming down on a stretch. I'll let you do it. Hey, your, your man Justin just joined on. I said, Justin, he said, my man. I, I think he's talking about me, Justin. I mean, I think he's talking about me, David, by the way. My man. I, I think he's talking about me. All right, all right, all right. The late night show. <laughs> anyway, he's saying he's talking about you because you're teaching. All right, all right, Justin. I hear you. <laughs> so so we put together this, this tracking that you could see on the far right side. So I mentioned to you that registrations completed were technically the leads that we were bringing into the to the sales funnel into the journey and then we qualified leads as people who booked appointments but qualified appointments now we actually are generating appointments or at least applications for about eighty dollars a piece but what we found is that for every three or so applications that come in only one of them is qualified and so in that filter process, if the lead did not get triggered, meaning like the page that they land on did not qualify as a lead, they were sent to a different page that said, hey, thank you so much for applying. We have a different program for you because they're not qualified to be a part of our program based on their income level. So when the lead would fire, meaning that when they land on this specific page, it says, hey, thank you so much for booking, then we would know that they are a qualified lead. So in actuality, it says here we have 64 leads. That's 64 qualified people. But we had hundreds of applications because we had tons of people who applied who just weren't a good fit. They were sent in ad an additional offer. So it's not that it was wasted advertising spend mm -hmm. because we still had people who paid for programs that were not our high ticket program. But to know that we had you know, over 2,800 people become a part of this journey 64 were ultra qualified. So we got about, let's just say $250 per qualified phone call. And then from there, you know, spending a little, you know, basically a little over $16,000, we generated over $100,000 in sales. That's how we knew that it only would cost us a specific amount of money to get a qualified call. And then how many qualified calls did it take for us to close, you know, a $10,000 sale? So basically, she got to a point where it took us sometimes upwards of, you know, six calls to close a sale. And that was a, that was perfect because by then it was like, all right, six calls. All we have to do is generate six qualified calls. You'll get a ten thousand dollar sale. And that ended up becoming her average. We were trying to get one out of ten. She ended up getting closer to around one out of five to one out of six came out to being more like one out of six. And so now all we do is focus on getting six qualified calls now we're trying to do six qualified calls every other day. So in every two days, we should have at least six calls, so three calls a day. And that's the goal is like just get three qualified calls a day. In two days, we should be able to close one person, which would mean over the course of a week, we can close possibly three people at 10K apiece. That's the new goal. So it's just reverse engineering numbers. We've already created the campaigns. They practically run on their own. Now all we have to do is focus on lead gen. So when you get to that point, which is exactly what we do for people, when you're at the point where you understand your numbers, you know exactly what people are paying attention to, you know what video is grabbing their attention, you know exactly what audiences are, are clicking your ads the most, that's when you get to the part of where things get fun, which is how many phone calls can I generate for the day or how many sales can I generate this week? And that's where we're at with this account because we're able to essentially hit a point of scale. Right? So one, so How one many the calls is, can we generate? So one of the benefits, David, I'm hearing is that they're not spending all day talking to non-qualified people for the most part. Um, you've generated leads that have gone through some type of process. It doesn't mean they're going to buy, but they're more likely to be in a position to be able to buy because of the actions they've taken. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, exactly. And so imagine for a moment. Um, what's the best use of your time? I always share this. And some of you just say, share. I just need to get the Facebook ad stuff done. I need to be part of the Facebook ads club. 
look, it's time to do something different. If you want something different tomorrow, then we got to do something different today. And it's not for everybody, but it is for the person that says, you know, I've done everything else. The one thing I haven't done or haven't done effectively is really running Facebook ads. And I'm spending the money anywhere. It's just a matter of how I shift it and where I put my resources. Remember, the number, uh, the opposite of wealth, remember, the opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. And some of you made the statement earlier, I must develop my resources. I must develop my resources. Well, here's a resource you can develop. Here's what you do. You're going to text Facebook ads. You want all the details, all the information about the Facebook ad company uh, process. You also want to make sure that you are aware of and you understand what's going on with Facebook club. You want all the information. You want the notes. Text the word Facebook clubs. Text the word Facebook clubs. Let me give it to you again. Text the word Facebook clubs to 202-270-1662. Again, 202-270-1662. Text the word Facebook clubs right now to 202-270-1662. Then once you text the word Facebook clubs to 202-270-1662, when you do that, look in your browser right now. Don't write it down. That's so 1980s. That's so 1980s. Don't do that. When you do that, then I want you to put your first name, put your last name, put your best contact number, and your email. And we're going to send you all information. Now, one reason I wanted David on here tonight, because I want you to get results in your bank account, but some of you solve big problems, and you have very big solutions. And so you need to be in front of the right people who have the right problem, who have the right resources, who have an interest, want, or a need, and can move forward. And if you think about it, if you were to come to me today and say, Shay, where can I go to put my hand on the man or the woman right now that can really understand these algorithms and understand how to get everything set up for me and give me a dollar a day strategy? If I'm you, I'm texting 202-270-1662. Look, holla at your boy right now. A dollar a day, I'm in it all day, every day. It's not even a conversation. If you don't have a dollar a day, don't text me, okay? Don't even take the action. You will not be in my, in my audience because it's not for you. It's okay. It's not a good thing or a bad thing. It just is what it is. But if your bank account right now doesn't reflect how good you are or you're on the verge of a breakthrough, and you need the rocket fuel to get up over your next hurdle or your next goal, then text 202-270-1662. Text the word Facebook ads right now, Facebook ads. When you do that, include your first name, include your last name, include your best contact number and your email, and then you will get all the details and the special gift. Look, you're here on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. You're with the man, David himself, all the way from Colorado by way of Miami, Florida. That's a topic for another time. Y'all got to come back and hear that story. But he's over there with a big smile on his face. He's where he wants to be right now, and he's here serving you. We come back. I'm going to let him close it up and let him share one more golden nugget. David, don't tell him about the master class, David. They don't need to know about that. No, David, don't tell him about some things we're doing behind the scenes. But if you're ready to show up and show out, Text 202-270-1662. Text the word Facebook ads. Include your first name, your last name, your best contact number, and your email. And these get all the details. We'll be back in just a moment. Let me tell you about something that happened to me yesterday. And this is why I said it is if you want something different tomorrow, you got to do something different today. We'll be right back in just a minute. It's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, founder of the Happy Entrepreneur Network and the host of the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country, the Happy Entrepreneur Show. And I just landed. Just got back in town from San Antonio, Texas, out there visiting my wife. I, not really visiting my wife, let me not say that. I was at my second home. She's been very, very clear, by the way. I live in two states now. <laughs> I live in Washington, D.C., and I live in San Antonio. So check this out. I just wanted to chat for a few minutes because sometimes life just shows up, right? So I get back, had a wonderful, I don't know, almost 14 days back in San Antonio. Come home, and I'm sitting there working and preparing for the show this evening, and guess what? I can't find my mic. Now, I cannot locate my mic. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you were prepared, 
getting ready and at the last minute, just before you were to get started, just before you to leave for vacation, just before the meeting was to start, just before you to send an email, guess what happens? Something's missing, right? In this case, the mic is missing. Now, can you imagine doing a show with no mic? The good news is I've got about 25 minutes to make it to the store Hopefully they got a mic there because it's too late to order from Amazon. Um, I made three calls to see if I can borrow someone's mic, but it's a problem. Rule number one, don't panic. With that being said, for everyone that's watching right now, um, here's what I like you to do. I like you to look below the video, look below the video, and what is a mantra? Um, what is an affirmation you tell your stuff, yourself when things just don't go right? I need an affirmation right now. I wish I could tell you I had one in the back of my head. I don't. Right now I'm a little discombobulated because I really don't want to go. And can they can they can they even see the traffic coming up? And so I, here I am able to work at a conference in my home, fly across the country, and I'm right back in DC traffic. We, got, we, use, we use the road mic. Yes. We use the other mic. Yeah. Do you like this one? Do you like, you like that one? Pick up, pick up sound. Yeah. It takes persistence and perseverance. Persistence and perseverance. Someone write that right below the video right now. Persistence and perseverance. Hey, I just came up with my own affirmation. I'm going to drive and think of persistence and perseverance. Anyway, with that being said, uh, I want you to go out there and I want you to know that you're amazing. I want you to know that you're incredible. I want you to know that God only made one you, and that's incredible. And when he made you, he gave you everything you need right now in order not only to succeed for yourself, but to bless someone else. So with that being said, uh, my name, by the way, is uh, Shay Brown, uh, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a, a great day, everyone. And I promise you, we're going to make some good things how we connect again next time. God bless. Peace. I'm out. See you later. Patience and perseverance. It's gonna take persistence and perseverance. Persistence and perseverance. Persistence and perseverance. But here's the good news. You don't have to go alone. You've got David on the journey with you. David, as we come down to home stretch and close out, man, I wanna first thank you for providing such great content. For those folks that texted in, they know this is not the last conversation. They've already received the message back and they'll be understanding how they can stay in the conversation and really get everything they need done now and get their audience up and going so i want to turn over you man first this has been amazing um i appreciate you spending time taking time away from your business taking time away from your family i had a chance to meet you uh one-on-one -on -one at justin's event by the way member con and how amazing was that in atlanta and um, we had a great conversation and i mm -hmm. said hey would you share some of your great content with the happy entrepreneur tribe and you said when he didn't say, how much am I paying? He didn't say, how many people are going to be there? He didn't say, how large is your audience? He just said, when I look at my calendar and if I can make it happen, we'll do it. So I appreciate that, man. Um, you have a, a heart to give, you have a heart to serve, and you have a heart to help so many other folks. So thanks for all you're doing, man. I appreciate it. With that being said, persistence and perseverance. Persistence and perseverance. Remain persistent, everyone out there, but don't persevere. I, I didn't say suffer. I never said suffer, I said persistence. And so I want you not just on the right team, I want you on a Hall of Fame team. Anyone can be on any team and good luck winning the championship. But when you're on a Hall of Fame team, you win a championship typically more than one time, number one. And secondly, you're amongst the best of the best. And my dad used to always tell my son and, and his grandchildren that it's not enough just to be the best. You must get amongst the best and be the best of the best. And that's what we have. We have none other than David, all the way from Colorado. With that being said, David, I'm going to turn it over to you, man, to close it out. Again, thank you, man. I appreciate you. Looking forward to breaking bread and sitting down with you real soon. Over to you. And for those that text already, 202-270-1662, and you put down Facebook ads, and you put your first name, your last name, your best contact number and email, we'll see you on the other side. Over to you, David, for your closing final comments 
to the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe. Thank you, my man. You got it. So <clears throat> the one thing that I always tell people when they're starting this process is you don't have to do it alone, right? So there's people like me who are always available to take care of these types of campaigns for you so you don't have to feel like it's a lot of work. If you want to learn it on your own and you want to be a, a go-getter, that's amazing. That, that's one of the processes that I went through, which was I had to learn everything on my own. There's plenty of training out there now, and when I learned it, there was no training at all. I, I had to just do it from experience. So if you're someone who is more of a go-getter, you want to learn things first before you pass off the reins to someone else, I suggest setting up exactly what we talked about today. That way you, you can at least get your feet wet, you know, get some skin in the game, understand how the process works, and then when you're comfortable enough to have someone else do it for you, that's when you would reach out to you know, my team or to someone else and have them do it for you. But the main thing I'd keep in mind here is there's a lot of practice that goes into running ads. You got to practice all the time. Just like anything else, you got to practice your craft. It's going to take some time to become really good at it, but it's worth it. You're going to have to be very persistent in getting things done because the more that you test, the more you understand the process, the more you understand why things are done the way they are, the better you're going to become at this. And there's going to be a lot of patience. You just got to be patient and wait for the results. And so at the end of the day, you can practice your craft, be very persistent in getting things done, and just be patient in getting those results. You're going to be just fine. And if you don't want to deal with any of that stuff, that's why you contact people like me. That way you don't have to deal with it. Your main thing is here's the money. Go do your thing, and we take care of it for you. So there's, always know there's options out there. But if you want to be the go-getter and figure it out on your own, there's so many tools out there for you now to be successful with Facebook, so you have none to worry about. Man, words of wisdom, words, none other, you listen to none other than the David, all the way from Colorado, the Facebook guru himself. Thank you again, David. Thank you all of you who posted your notes in the right there below. We appreciate that. You know, those notes are good for all of our podcasters, for folks to listen to the conference calls, for folks to go back and watch the replay. So thank you so much. But I went through the list. I, I probably missed the one, but I want to thank you um, from the bottom of my heart. The reason this is the number one business development and revenue focused late night show is because of all of you who share it with your tribe, who have the watch parties and who pay it for it. So thank you. Without you, well, <laughs> there's no us. There's no us at all. So thanks a lot. So with that being said, again, that's David, the Facebook guru. My name, for those folks that are listening and hearing for the very first time, my name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you, from the bottom of my heart, we're going to make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless. And I wish you success. See you soon. Bye -bye. Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. And I'm here right now in this moment with none other than the one and only Dr. Willie Jolly. What's up, my friend? It's a privilege and a pleasure and a treat and a treasure to be in your presence. All right, Delator, we're going to get started. You ready, Delator? I'm ready, friend. I'm you ready, Dr. Kinnett? Ready, you ready. No, none other than Andy Harikas and... And we have someone like a Dr. Sonia, who's a bad sister. All right, now, go ahead with your bad self. None other than the Kim Warren Martin. promise I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, check. Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we win, no matter what. Man. Got money on my mind, Man. I can never Man. get enough. Man. And every time I step Man. up in the building, yes. everybody yes. hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Yeah.